It seems like everyone you meet has either been hacked or know someone that's been hacked. Well, in this video, we're gonna discuss the things that you can do to stop hackers dead in their tracks. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on deck. Hackers can rain down chaos into our lives, whether it be from stealing accounts, stealing money, or even harassment. One of the best ways to combat these threats is by stopping their points of entry, whether it be from strengthening passwords, preventing infection, and a lot more. We're gonna get right into it right after a word about Aura. A few months ago, some hackers tried to dox me, but fortunately, I already had Aura, who sponsored this video. Aura is the all-in-one cybersecurity service that allows you to quickly and easily remove your information from online data brokers. Private information such as your address, phone number, relatives, and more are all for sale by online data brokers. Aura enables you to opt out of all these rackets with the click of a button. Aura also includes a strong antivirus, VPN, credit monitoring, and a million dollars of identity theft insurance. Use the link aura.com forward slash Nico to get a two week free trial today. First, we're gonna cover password security, and this is a big one, bigger than one might think, because it's not just as simple as creating strong passwords. Yes, that's important, but how are they actually getting your passwords? That's what we're gonna cover. Now, while hackers have known to brute force their way and guess your password, and that is still possible, it's much more likely and more common for a hacker to steal your passwords that are saved to your browser, or just convince you with a phishing link to log into a site that you think is maybe your Facebook or bank account when it's actually just delivering the login info to the intruder. Now, the way a hacker is going to steal your saved logins from your browser is with a Trojan horse, a type of computer virus that literally sneaks into your machine and steals things. In this case, it steals that unencrypted file where your saved passwords are stored, and then it's going to send it immediately to the intruder. Since it's unencrypted, it's not protected by any kind of password security vault, such as a password manager. It's easily readable by anybody who gets it. Now to prevent your logins from being stolen in this manner, you need to stop storing your logins in your browser and instead use an encrypted vault. Aura includes one in its service and there's also a lot of other password managers on the market. And then of course the best defense against Trojan horse viruses is an antivirus suite. Sure, you may have Defender or Windows security built into your computer. It's not up to the task with the complexity of emerging threats out there. And when you take into consideration of how tangible our online lives are, our Instagram account is worth a lot more than something online was maybe 10 years ago. Now, if you're already signing up with Aura, you don't actually need to go hunting for an antivirus. There's already a strong one included. But if you're not going with Aura today, you can check my channel and there's numerous recommendations and reviews on various antivirus suites including ESET, Kaspersky, just to name a few. Now, another line of defense you should be adding is two-factor authentication, which you probably are familiar with because practically every bank and a lot of online accounts are starting to implement 2FA. And you can use the Google Authenticator app, and there's other authenticators out there that add an extra layer of security, basically requiring a secondary login in order to authorize a new device connecting to a service. And in some cases, it'll require you to do that every time. So two-factor authentication is a great leap forward in security regarding logins and you should definitely be on board with that. Now, one of the best ways to prevent phishing attacks as well as a lot of infections is to stop clicking on Okay, but seriously, there is a way that you can verify your links are okay before you click on them. You need to be using VirusTotal.com. VirusTotal is a free website which allows you to upload files or even paste URLs, and it will scan it against over 70 of the world's top virus scanner companies and cybersecurity firms. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a file here to upload. I already know it's infected. This is a Trojan. And sure enough, 46 out of 71 scanners have all labeled it as Trojans or malicious, and it has all these different names, so I know it's darn dangerous. And also, you can check URLs. Anytime someone says you and sussy link go ahead and put it in here i'm going to go ahead and check google.com we know it's safe and zero out of 90 vendors have said that it's perfectly clean so before you click anything that you're not sure about check it with virus total because you're not just relying on your one virus scanner or your knowledge against someone else's you get to verify it against the entire cybersecurity uh, community now, another great upgrade to your security and your performance of your internet browsing is to switch your DNS server. Now, your DNS server is a server that translates domain names to the corresponding IP addresses. Now, to break that down Barney style, the computer you're trying to reach that has the website you want, whether it be CNN.com or Google or YouTube, is going to be an IP address. 
and you only have the domain name of youtube.com and all the dot coms, well, the DNS server is going to figure that out for you. That's its job. Well, by default, you're using your internet service provider's DNS, and I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, it's not that high performance, it's not private, and it doesn't have DNS security or DNSSEC. You can change your DNS to a higher performing one, and I'm going to show you how. Now here at this LifeWire article, you can see the top performing DNS servers, and this isn't the only website that has the top DNS servers. There's more real-time options out there, but I'll link this one in the description. We can see we have Google, which is a very fast DNS server. We have Control D, Quad9, Cloudflare, and AdGuard as well. Now AdGuard is kind of cool because it actually is going to block ads. So normally if you're surfing websites, you get pop-up ads. Um, AdGuard is going to filter those out. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm actually going to be uploading a video soon on how to make your own DNS server called a Pi Hole using a Raspberry Pi. That's a little bit for advanced users, but is really good. And so subscribe for more. That'll be coming soon. Now, the two ones that I'm going to show you here is Quad9 and Cloudflare. And they're very high performance. Probably Google's the fastest, but Quad9 and Cloudflare are right up there, but they have DNS security and it's free. They have paid versions that are above that, but just going here, we have Quad9 and Cloudflare, the free versions. They do have DNSSEC and they do filter out um, known malicious domains and um, phishing sites. So we're gonna need these IP addresses. And so in order to change our DNS, at least on our computer, not for a whole network, that's a whole other video, but we're gonna go ahead and open our network settings down here and then we're going to scroll down and change adapter options. And then we're gonna go to our network adapter. It might be Wi-Fi depending on your computer, but for me it's ethernet. And I'm gonna right click, then hit properties. And then I'm going to go down to internet protocol version four, TCP slash IPv4. And then I'm gonna click properties. And then down here, it's already selected to obtain DNS server address automatically. We're gonna change that and then we're going to enter the, the DNS server. And for this one, we're gonna use quad nine. So the first one is 9.9.9.9. .9 we're gonna copy that. And then we're going to paste it here. Oops, it didn't let me paste it. 9.9.9.9. .9 and then we're gonna copy this one. And then we're going to paste it down here. So now we have the alternate DNS server, which is basically if 9.9.9.9 .9 .9 is not working, it will, or it's running too slow, it will have a secondary DNS IP address to always work. So then we'll click OK, and then close, and then boom, we have Quad9. Cloudflare and Quad9 are my recommendations. You can check out others that have DNS security, but these overall are my favorite because of their high performance. They're almost as quick as Google. They're significantly faster than your ISPs, but they have DNS security and they greatly reduce the amount of malicious domains that'll get sent your way while you're surfing the internet, as well as phishing links. Now that we've covered the basics to secure your machine from intruders and you wanna go above and beyond, there's some optional things that we can consider. You can invest in a better network by upgrading your router to an enterprise level router, such as these PFSense routers that are by NetGate, or even going to Ubiquity, which is what I have. I have a UDM Pro, but there's these unified dream machines, and they feature GOIP filtration, a hardened firewall, intrusion detection system, intrusion prevention system, and this will essentially protect your entire network, adding another layer of defense, and that greatly improves the home security for everyone that lives there. I'll put links to all these products in the description. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you next time.